Welcome back, everyone, to Third Street Reactions. I'm Zach. I'm Shane. We are back with Attack on Titan, Season 4, Episode 10. Do you remember what happened five minutes ago, even though we talked about it, now we got to do this over again? Yeah, our uh, microphones were off, so we're just going to have a quick pre-talk, guys, because uh, we just went over it. But uh, we just basically were talking about how much we hated Zeke. I yeah. don't know if there's much that they can do to redeem his character. To redeem his character. Not that, I mean, because I, I never saw the good in him. How can they make us flip on how we feel about him? Because right now I hate him. You might just be instrumental yeah. in moving the story forward, and in which it was. Yeah. Otherwise, it just would have been, oh, Aaron, shucks, you did it again. Yeah. But now we have well, the intrigue. Why is he doing this? What do they hope to accomplish? Yeah. You have his zealot woman that's hanging crazy out. Crazy lady with that bowl cut. Yeah, and she's hanging around, bringing technology to these people. I always like that stuff quite a bit, yeah. Aaron has been jailed for obvious reasons. Yeah. But, uh, but it was at the end of the last at episode. At the end of the last episode, he was standing in front of the mirror talking to himself. Yeah. And he still had, don't think, this really long hair and shit. We also had Sasha's grave. Her parents were there and... Yeah. And her dad, I, we never established it whether or not her mom was there. I feel like there was. Yeah, I think I think it was like a mom and some other kid. And Sasha's like episode where she stays a little girl. I think it was only her dad at the time. Yeah, so it never really shows you a family unless he, you know, he could have remarried. He could have, but, yeah. Yeah, then the Marlian fella. There was the cook. Yeah, there was a captive who was a cook. He obviously had a crush on her. Yeah. Uh, maybe there's more to that relationship. I honestly don't know or can't remember. Yeah, I'm sure that stuff happened when those situations happened. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I just think it's. Sad. At least if the POWs are treated well. Yeah, if the POWs are treated well. I mean, I'm sure that happened. It's a very sad thing. I guess they didn't really enter into this. Well, I guess they kind of did because he was part of the crew mm -hmm. that wasn't in on what was going on. They didn't really come there as POWs, but he kind of is. Yeah. Well, I know your daughter particularly likes Sasha. To you, you know, she might not have been your favorite character, but I, I thought that was such a sad moment. She had some funny moments. I just don't think anything ever happened as much as other characters to really have her grow on you. Like, Connie's the same way. There's some things that happened with Connie, but maybe even less so because he didn't have his own episode, really. No, he probably less. Yeah, Sasha at least had her own episode. They kind of had an episode with him, didn't they? The thing with his mom and stuff. I remember that. But I just didn't know if it was well, well, particularly him and his past. And when they were held up in, the, I can't remember the name of the castle, Uthgar Castle or whatever like that, he's had a lot of big moments. Uh, yeah, but he just didn't have anything to really establish. Yeah, we haven't. Any yeah. pain in his past. We, we kind of met him and after his sad stuff was over. Yeah. Because all these people have a sad story, mm -hmm. you know? Before we jump into the next episode, if you want to support, first of all, right below this video for everybody. You don't need to be a patron to see it. Go watch a reaction we can't put on YouTube because it's anime. It's a long story. If you've been watching for a while, you probably know. But then come back here and watch our review, Zach's review. And also, if you want to, you can go watch the full length uncut reaction. Let's jump in. It's so funny because the Japanese have set themselves up to be this badass lineage that have remained on the islands. Yeah. <laughs> Westworld here you're flopping around on the timelines and shit but I know they yeah. kind of fill in the gap of kind of what led up to that my understanding of all this crazy ass storytelling is correct then Zeke had already gone over to their side prior to him like they were already aware of him on the island they, they were the aware that he was going to collaborate I, I don't know if they had any meetings with him or anything but I think so he, it was just the crazy lady I think the crazy lady she was there yeah well they presented I mean this whole thing I guess is Zeke's plan yeah. And the awesome of Pitos. Um, I can't remember who, who was ahead of there. They kept revoking his, invoking his name. I, I guess, first of all, big thing, Mikasa. Now we have a little more backstory on the Ackermans. Like, they're deceived. Yeah, they're, they're fucking just badasses from Japan. Yeah, it's badasses from, from Japan. The Japanese have given themselves this. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is our show. We make ourselves badasses. Yeah. They just, they put their fucking... They're all, like, literally, like, superhumans. Yeah. Compared to, like, Caucasian like, every, Yeah, they're all just like, you're all here. All the technology. Caucasians are, like, alcoholics and stuff. Yeah, alcoholics. They turn into giant monsters and destroy the world. And yeah. They're, like, the fucking... The yeah, I haven't seen backbone. an Asian Titan, so... Well, there haven't hardly been any, though. Yeah, they all... Yeah, I mean... They live around there, man. I mean, the only one we had were the descendants of that guy that the baby was left behind, which is Levi, uh, his uncle, uh, and the sister who died. Yeah, and, Kenny, his sister, would be Levi's mom. Yeah. And then uh, Mika's son, you don't know anything about her family. Oh, yeah, you're right, because they adopted her, right? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, you don't know shit. It's just interesting to think those things were going on during the previous... See, not, no, I mean, obviously... The, the parts where they had long hair, yeah. But I mean, like, you know, when he took the ODM gear and was talking to Oz, Ozma Pitos, like the lady, mm -hmm. uh, that happened pr probably not too long after he left the island the first time. Yeah. Or maybe in between the time we saw him when he killed that one scout, mm -hmm. we said, oh. You yeah, that's where he took the 
yeah. ODM gear from. Yeah, so maybe he had that meeting then, and he started putting together his plan. I don't know. Well, he said that it was... But he also well, won the one. He took it back to Marley first. Yeah. So he must have smuggled it out after that. So I'd say maybe he let them look at the run their tests or yeah. whatever and inspect it. And maybe they just said, oh, we don't need this shit. And, he <laughs> said, okay, and, he took it out. and uh, the fact that it's powered by a fuel source that is can only be found there. Yeah. Ice burst stone. Yeah. I didn't. It looked like compressed gas to me. Yeah. So I'm not sure why they couldn't come up with something like it. Right? Yeah. Maybe. You know what I mean? Like maybe. They just reverse engineer and create their own model of ODM gear. Mm -hmm. And maybe, maybe just as good. Yeah, I figured they could find a way to do it differently. Yeah, and it may not be because as it's good not at like they're going because... super speed, like you know, Bob Lazar's claims for UFOs. No, well, then the bodies could I couldn't withstand that anyway. Yeah, like whiplash if I kill those people all the time. Yeah, and they're the one they're flying around like this shit. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> but it's just. <laughs> Like your favorite Their thing. body's folded in half down yeah. here as they're flying. Yeah. But now I get the imagery. I do. So What do you think of kind of the terrible, at least in Historia's case, the kind of terrible plan for Zeke had for essentially to... There's, he's basically doing what the Marlins were doing. Yeah, like we would need to take Historia and she'd have to inherit the power and then she would only have 13 years to live and she'd need to have as many kids as she could. Yeah, just fucking be just cranking them out. Just banging like jackrabbits. And, you know, with their technology, I mean, there's no guarantee she's going to live having a bunch. You know, the no. more you have, the you know, until you get a certain age, the mm. easier it is. But Yeah. She's pregnant now. Someone that she knows, but I don't know if it's anyone we know. It hasn't showed his face, so I yeah. have to kind of wonder. He's the luckiest guy in the, the entire, world. It didn't show the entire conversation between the Japanese lady yeah. and Zeke either. I feel like they had a lot more to talk about other than the fucking ODM gear. Yeah. So... Can you imagine Marissa Ring just came down to his basement and asked you to marry her? She was like the leader of like, I don't know. Uh, fucking. <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> you know? well, that would be a red state, so she'd have to be from like a democratic state, right? Yeah. I'd, I'd say no. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, then, <laughs> Levi had a funny line. You guys all got taller, which I, I, I think I kind of noticed. Yeah. They were drawing taller, mm -hmm. despite him. Um, but like his story is a good story. like a little Vegeta. Yeah. Not as badass as Vegeta. No, not as badass. He's still badass. He's badass. But Vegeta is, he's motivational. Like he, you know, I'm not a beginning. He's just an asshole. But yeah. he becomes motivational. That's why I love about him so much. Mm -hmm. But Historia was a good sport about it. I think as morbid as it was. Yeah, it's. They laid out that plan. I did not see them taking that plan and running with it. Yeah. For one to be boring. But as Aaron, Aaron is running with that plan now. He's right. running with something. We don't know what the plan is. Yeah, I mean, it, he knows I, the only part on, I heard. He knows he's. I think what's going on with Aaron is he's short on time, for one, because he only has a little over five years to accomplish his goals. In that flashback, and... I, I legitimately felt he authentically, like, he loves these people. He wants them to live long lives, and yeah. that's more important to him than his initial goals, season one through three, to just get revenge. Well, I think at this point, though, his goal is, like, seeing things through and for a better world or whatever it is his goal ultimately is, I think it's starting to overshadow, like, the... That and his feelings, his personal feelings, are starting to kind of overlap. Because one's starting to overshadow the other. And there's some gray area in there. What happened to him to make him change that much? If it, if it less like, maybe he's, Or maybe we're being fooled. I don't know. Because they're giving you a lot of information at once and it's all disjointed. Yeah. And discombobulated. So it's really hard to tell what they're... I, I love badass Aaron, but it would break my heart if he wants to throw his friends under the bus. Personally. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he's just kind of proceeding with reckless abandon because he's gotten to the point where he says, okay, I love these he's people. He's got less than five years now. I love now. these people, yeah. but at the same time, if everything's going to matter, yeah. then this has to be. I have to see this through no matter what, Yeah. And which sucks, especially for the people that love him. Yeah. But I mean, we know the tail end of this to a point yeah. where they actually went and you know, Sasha died. Yeah, and, and I disagree and, with Connie. To me, it looked like he went crazy. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't feel like he was laughing at the project. I don't think this version of Aaron would laugh at anything. Actually, no. no I feel like he was starting to snap and kind of this yeah. shit that was happening. Yeah, because I think at that point you're in too, like you said. It's like he, he's invested enough now to where he can't stop. Yeah, he's already killed one of the people that he said he wanted. He wanted her to have a long life. You know, mm -hmm. it's a sunk cost argument. Yeah, sunk car sunk cost argument. Yeah, because he invests too much. So yeah. Know. People are staying in a war because they've already spent a bunch of money on it. Yeah. It's like, well, what, what do we get out of it now? It's like, you're just going to keep spending more money on it. And well, if you're not winning. 
Yeah, or, or we spend our but money but to help someone. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but they're in this case their survival depends on the yeah you know, their island and their people's. See, survival. could you save the world if you knew your friends and family would die because of it? But you would say, you know what I mean? I don't know, because to me, it's a, those are the people that matter the most in the yeah. world. And the rest of the world. Now, if if they were all the, the rest of the world doesn't care about the people I care about. Yeah. So it's like the only thing I would say is if if everyone in the world was going to die anyways, then yeah, I would save the world even if it even meant killing the people I love because they were already going to die anyways yeah. that's the only thing that would make sense to me it would still be I just want to die after I, I couldn't keep living after that I don't know I guess we'll see I I love Aaron I, this he's a badass here but I don't want you know, I don't want him to like become um, good dark no I don't want him to become Darth Vader unless he redeems himself but you can't I don't know. You can't kill those people and redeem yourself. You gotta jump forward 20 years. Yeah, yeah. They gotta be new people. You gotta skip a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's it. You got anything else, sir? No, I do not. Okay, then we're out of here.